It's a great pleasure to be able to speak to you on today, the United Nations International Day for Women and Girls in Science. We should be celebrating, of course, because after much progress, we can see a vision in front of us for the Sustainable Development Goals, wherein not only are women totally present, but also their presence is noted in the sex disaggregated data and statistics that we will be collecting. But let us just think about where we are today. Yes, we can see that 45% of the employed people are women, but when we turn our attention to science and technology and engineering, we see that that drops to 24%. When we look at wages, imagine that even today in the United States of America, that women are paid between 40 and 25% less than their male counterparts. Now let's look at gender representation. In our international conventions, where we meet to discuss the future of desertification of biodiversity, still delegates only represent 33% women delegates. And so we go on and on through institutions where those countries that have the most foresight, who place women at the core of decision making, even there we can see that in higher education institutions, only 30% in a country such as Norway, but as low as 5% in some others. So we have much to do. But it is not just about women. This is about an agenda of equality, of making certain that half of the world's population is heard and is heard in a place where decisions are made, where that thinking of what it takes to raise a family, to be able to bring science and technology into the everyday life, has a view that is balanced. And so when we go forward and we think about science as a career, when we think about technology and engineering, the numbers really matter. We do seriously have to bring women into an understanding that science is not only achievable, is doable, but is a lifestyle which women can really live up to. So gender parity is the first step. Gender equality is the second step. And when we look about us in the developing world and we see one of the most precious commodities is time, then we look at the statistics that tell us that even going and gathering water, that burden of making sure that households work, we need to change the pattern in the household such that young girls coming up do not see themselves simply as the individual who goes to gather water, who goes to gather fuel, but who actually has an opportunity to go to university and then to succeed in the, in the wide world of science. So I hope that we can commemorate this day, I hope we can celebrate this day, and really look forward to a future where girls not only are present in the science curriculum, are actually participating in science universities, but turn out to be the leaders of the future with a good, strong scientific background in their decision-making that will take us to a sustainable future. Thank you.